Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Caesar, and we are talking about every Grayscale Trust today. Maybe not all of them, but we're going to talk about File G and Mana for Cryo C, LTCN and BCHG for Pump Progression, HZen and Zcash for James Cook, File G for Blank C, and that's it. That's the smorgasbord of Grayscale Trust we've got. I'm going to pause the music. We're going to jump right into this because I need to go to bed soon, you guys. Um, let's see. Looking at Phyalg, it's <laughs> oddly enough showing the most consistent volume and consistent price action we've seen. It just happens to be to the downside. So definitely an onslaught of selling going on. Had a parabolic structure, you're breaking out of it now. So I think taking a relative fib is fair. You might be crashing all the way down to $23. You're at 50 bucks now. You might be crashing all the way to $23. This is such a low liquidity asset. You could find your low here and bounce. Like it's, it's really hard to say you've dropped a substantial bit and you've done it pretty fast. So finding a, a dead cat bounce, as it were, could be called for. Maybe not even a dead cat bounce, but maybe these fibs aren't being respected, right? If we take this previous high right here, you're pretty close to that. I guess that is at your 0.5, but maybe it's where we have to look at like price action, right? You've got resistance here, resistance in the same area, kind of resistance here and a little support right there. Like this, uh, this $41, 40 to 45, maybe even $35 area, might be an area worth considering. You're at $50 now, so you're really close, but it's possible you could go lower, right? Um, if we take this high to low, maybe this would give us some better insights. Yeah, yeah, 41 to 31. I bet that's where you go. I would think so, just the way it looks now. So probably lower, probably. But again, it's such a low liquidity chart, you could you could just bounce right here, who knows? Um, but that's, that's file G to the best of my abilities, mana, 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 mana. Um, 1680. Man, I was talking to my grandfather about this one yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was. And I said, if it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. I think it was yesterday. And I was saying that I thought yesterday could have been the low. And if it's not the low, we're very near it. So I'm going to say that to you guys now. I do. I think we're very near the low. If we haven't found it, we are very, very near it. And I'll just kind of go over why, right? If you look at this thing for what it's worth most of the time, let's actually, let's do this. Let's put a line right there. We'll put a line right there. We'll put a line right there. I'm gonna stop clicking it and I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna lock it in. That way I can do that. Right there, right there. And we're kind of at this area now, so, all right. So here in the very beginning, you had your first interaction, you did drop lower and you continued to drop lower, right? But you were also having lower highs, lower lows. You're kind of in a, a different phase of the market than we're at now. So I don't know if you're gonna continue to drop lower, but I'm just doing this because these are the parts where you first got into the oversold zone where you saw a pivot, if that doesn't make sense, if that makes sense at all, right? Pivot there, pivot there, pivot, pivot, pivot. Um, here you found your pivot, but you did go lower. Again, kind of a different phase of the cycle, and you were a lot lower in the RSI, okay? This one here, um, inevitably you did go lower, but you did have a pretty substantial bounce off of this area. That was your low that day. Uh, here in this area as well, you found your low. You actually went a little bit lower afterwards. I mean, a, a little bit higher, I should say, a higher low, um, but you didn't just move straight up, but you did move up from about 250 to $6. That's a pretty substantial pump. Right, uh, and then this time we moved 414 all the way up to nine, almost ten dollars, man. Here, three dollars all the way up to twenty dollars. Like that's, that's pretty substantial pumps. Pretty substantial pumps off this area. So, if you do bounce from here, and I think you could because this is an area where it seems like you've liked to bounce at least the last one, two, three, four times. It was just these first two times you didn't. Again, different circumstances of the market too. Um, this attempt, you weren't even overbought whenever you came from it, uh, came into it before. This attempt, you were overbought, but just briefly, all these times you were overbought for a, a decent bit more than, than this little brief bit and definitely more than that. Um, however, I will say it's been a while since you've been overbought on this one. I don't know. I don't know. It's any man's guess at this point. I would think that you are near your low, if not at it already. I genuinely would expect that. Low to high here tipped that 786. Yes, you did. That might have been it, man. Today might have been the low. I said that yesterday, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it today. I'll say it tomorrow if we go lower. I think you're very, very near your low. So you probably start moving up soon and it'll probably be miraculous. It will probably literally be, you're at, you're at 1680. 
you might be making a move above this high over the coming weeks, months, right? Like miraculous, miraculous. It doesn't look miraculous, but that's miraculous. Moving from 247 all the way up to 546, that's miraculous. So um, in a very short amount of time, I might add, that was like one, two, three, four, four days, right? Maybe not chronologically like by the month, but on this chart is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Okay, it was a week. But technically it was from August 7th to August 18th. So a little over a week, but that's because stock market doesn't open on the weekends. Anyways, mana probably near its low, probably gonna go higher soon. I like it, I do like it. Um, I got hung up on that one, man. I, I talked about that one for way too long. LTCN, looking like it wants to go lower, guys. We're getting it. Um, I know, man. I know. I get it's, Sometimes I get them right. Sometimes I get them wrong. This just happens to be one of the times I got them right. That's just how it is, man. Uh, I will be wrong again. I've been wrong before. I will be right again. I've been right before. You know, that's just how it is. Um, likely... You're going to move from this low here, let's see, from that low to this high. You'll likely see prices around, oh, oh, right, I still have that thing on. Get rid of that. Around, is that right? Yeah, 24.79 to 21.43. And I really do, I've said this a few times, I'm just gonna kind of condense it in this video. I think 21 to $23 is your next likely stop. I don't think that that's gonna be your low. I think you will inevitably go lower than this area here. But I do think you'll find support come up. You'll probably find a lower high off of your lower low, and then you'll proceed to go lower, potentially down to about 16 bucks, maybe even lower than that. But let's let's just see how you do after this bounce. That could be the low, and in which case you you move out from it. But let's just see how you do at that 21 to 23 dollar area. Probably pretty close to 23 dollars is what I would think. But that's LTCN moving down is what I think. BCHG. Also looking like it wants to move down. It actually looks a little bit worse for wear than LTCN does. Um, your first stop would be 939 and potentially down to 785. You could go even lower, man. I was thinking that BCHG would hold that $8 area. It could go a little bit less than $8, but, but the $8 area nonetheless. Um, but you might not, man. Maybe I've been giving it too much credit. Maybe I just like Bitcoin Cash too much. Maybe BCHG, you're going as low as six bucks, man. Five fifty. You're at ten thirty one now, and you've already dropped so much, and you could drop so much more. You really could. So that all depends on BCH, I suppose. When BCH finds its low and it sees a nice little bounce, which it probably will after it finds, that's what it likes to do. Um, BCHG will probably stop dropping. Probably being the keyword. And I do think we're near the low for BCH. I'm expecting us to bounce around the $400 area. We could go below $400, it is possible. But I think that area is gonna be where we go to. If we take this relative low here to that high, you know, that's right at our 786. We've already gone below our 618. We found support on it once, twice, three times, four times, and then crashed below it this most recent time. Maybe we just did it three times, and then on the fourth time we broke through, however you wanna look at it. Um, but the odds of finding support at the 786 to 886 area is very likely based off of this, in my opinion. Um, so I would say $406 to $378 is on the table. Let's look at how we do with that $400 area. Um, you know, it's not only the 786, but if we zoom out, you know, previous kind of area of resistance here, support, support, uh, where we had this big gap down, I think that's very significant in the chart, honestly. It's, a, it's an area that's been significant for this things like whole existence. So let's see how we do with $400. The end might be near for BCH, and that's the best hope that we have for BCHG. That's the best hope we have for my original low target uh, expectation, which was around eight to nine dollars so specifically around that eight dollar area um but i want to be frank here i want to be very clear we're at 1031 now we absolutely could go to 560 and everything would be fine if we went that low everything would be fine i promise you but um we could we really could but at this moment let's look for 940 to 785 specifically around eight dollars is what i'm thinking so that's that's bchg um h -Zen. again to be clear i think that eight dollar area will hold us support it remains to be seen if we go lower after we interact with that area, okay? Um, this is the most like bearish that I've been on it this whole time, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not quite convinced that we go lower than eight bucks. I'm just more accepting it as a possibility than I, than I really have for a while. So phenomenal move up with HZEN. 
The main reason I think that we're, we're not going to go lower with BCHG than $8 is because BCH does look like it's near its low. I'm, I'm going to stop talking about it now, though. But I, just, I feel like I can be confusing. I'm trying to be clear. I hope, hopefully, I'm not being more confusing. But with the way this looks on H10, I would expect you to go down to 273, potentially even lower than that. It's very common to go a little bit below your 382, but find support in this area nonetheless. What is a little bit below that area? Well, we've got these lows coming in here right at about 226. Another low right here at about 250. So it makes sense to go to that like 250, 220 area. You could go lower than that as well, but uh, I do think you're going lower nonetheless. You broke out of your nice, beautiful uptrend that you had on your weekly. Absolutely, you broke out of it. Uh, so you, you've kind of just done that. So I think you're going to consolidate for a while, move down for a while. Um, you do have bearish or bullish divergence showing itself. I'm not convinced though, man. All it takes is for you to keep going down. That divergence goes away. I think you, I think you will keep going down. And even if you do move up from here, you're at 460. I doubt you move up too high. You could move. Okay, <clears throat> maybe you do move up from here first, but then inevitably lower. You might, you might see a little reprieve. You're at 460. Maybe move up to like 560, 570, and then you move to those targets I was talking about. Which again, those targets for anybody who just forgot was around 220 to 250. Uh, yeah, 220 to 250. That's H then. Z cash, man. Did I do it again? Did I do it? I did not do it. Okay, we're good. Don't even worry about it. ZCSH. Looking like it wants to go lower as well. Low here. Come on now. Low to high. 382. Ooh, you could. I don't Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you found support once. Rejected your 236. Very telling that you will see this zone here. Probably. 283 to 362. You're at 448 now. Could you go lower than that? Absolutely. But I do like that area as a support zone. Remember, that's between your 0.5 and your 618, roughly. That's that circle, right? If we zoom out, you look at it for what it is. Doesn't that just look nice? Like, doesn't that just look like pretty damn nice? You might not even go to the bottom of the circle, this top of the circle. That's a nice little curve there. So, uh, and you are you are oversold right now in your daily RSI, or you just come out of the oversold zone, bounce, reject it off the 50. You're about to be oversold. Um, I think you could see a move down here. Yeah. Just below the screen line, each time has been a good area to buy, and I think that's where you're going to go. So maybe you go below this curve. Maybe I don't have it drawn properly. Maybe it's not a curve at all. Um, but I would expect something around 362 to 283 is your target. So that's that. Anyways, ZCSH moving down. File G to finish it up for blank C. Wow. Oh, we already talked about file G. Ha, uh, I, I wrote it down twice, so my bad. Um, yeah, we've already done this, so. With that, I leave you. If you guys liked the video, if you had a good time, uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all for coming, I very, very much appreciate you. Um, I don't know, I don't know if there's anything else I wanna say. I guess we got a bonus here. For anybody that, that stuck around to hear the bonus, we're gonna talk about ETCG. Real quick, I think ETH, ETC is moving down a little bit, just a little bit over the, the coming days. For this low to high here, probably moves down to about $9. You're at $12 now, probably moves down to around $9. This is 382, you also have the 123 moving average coming in, or going inside there, broke out of your uptrend, makes sense you're gonna go down, that's that. So hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all for coming, I'll, take, I'll see you on the next one where I will hopefully be able to speak better. Take care, bye bye.